All right, so let's try a couple of other options. The 1 times 6 doesn't seem to be working right now. So let's use 2 and 3. And let's use the 2 and 4 from the blue options. We get 4 and 12. That doesn't work. So how about we'll use 2 and 3. And let's use 8 and 1. We get 16 and 3, and the difference is 13. Okay, so our pairs are 2 and 3 and 8 and 1. So this is a good start. So we'll have a 2x and a 3x. Now because we paired the 2 with the 8, that means the 8 needs to go over here. So that the 2 and the 8 can multiply by each other. Because we also paired the 3 with the 1, the 1 needs to go here. And the last thing we need to figure out are the signs in between. Now since our 8 is negative up here, that means that one of these terms needs to be positive and one needs to be negative. So that we when we multiply the 1 by the 8, we'll have a positive times a negative, which will give us a negative 8. The trick is figuring out which one. So we look back up at our 16 and 3, 16 and 3 from earlier. Because we have a negative 3, 13 here, then the 16 needs to be negative, which means either the 2 or 8 needs to be negative, so our negative sign goes here, and our positive sign goes here. As always, let's double check. When we multiply through, we should get 6x minus 16x plus 3x minus 8. Our middle terms combine to give us 6x minus 13x minus 8, which is correct. So, here is the factored form of that trinomial. How about we try just one more? This way you can get a little bit of extra practice. For this one, try to factor out the following trinomial. 6x squared plus 5x minus 6. Pause the movie for a moment, work it out, and then restart the movie when you're ready to see the solution. All right, we will have two binomials with an x in the first spots. We can see that the factors of six are one and six, two and three, and the same thing over here. And we want them to subtract to give us a five. Okay. I'm going to start with well, I'm going to start with the 2 and 3 over here. And let's go ahead and use the 2 and 3 over here as well. We'll do 2 times 2, 3 times 3 to give us 4 and 9, and the difference is 5. Since 5 is positive here though, that means 4 needs to be the negative number. Okay. Well, since we use 2 and 3, we'll put 2 and 3 here. 2 and 2 means the 2 goes over here, 3 over here. 4 is negative, and that 9 was positive. All right, let's double check. Multiplying through, we get 6x squared minus 4x plus 9x minus 6. The middle terms combine, giving us 6x squared plus 5x minus 6. All right. If you'd like a little bit of extra practice, try some of the example problems in our book. The solutions to odd numbers are in the back.